Well, good morning, everybody. I am the bald guy. So glad to have you back with me. We are continuing our journey into chapter four. Now we're going to focus in on Lamech. Now, Lamech was Cain's great, great, great grandson. And this guy was far even worse than Cain himself. I mean, whew, wow, this dude. Oh, man. And you talk about the apple didn't far from, fall far from the tree here, folks. I'm telling you. Because each one that passed on from Cain, when Cain had Enoch, and then Enoch had Arad, and on and on to Lamech, the evilness just kept continuing. Because we do know that <laughs> the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, and that tree was just continuing to root evil, evil, evil. And this guy, wow, I mean... So he literally had taken Cain's spot. Now remember Cain, if we remember from our last videos here that Cain, he was kind of wondering kind of guy. He, that's what he had to do. That's what God told him. So, you know, after this thing was built, he probably wandered off to do other things, you know, and uh, wandered in the wilderness until his death, you know, and he died on his own because God put that protection on him. Remember that. So... As we talked about our last video, nobody killed him because he was marked. He was marked by God. And now we come to Lamech. Oh, my. So, who was this guy? Oh, well, we do know that he was the great, great, great grandson of Cain. And he was an evil, murderous, arrogant dude. I mean, seriously. He had control of everything and Whatever he said basically went. So what was the first thing he did? How do we know that he was this bad? Well, the first thing he did was committed polygamy. Took on two different wives at the same time. The first time ever. You know, flaunting God again. God says one man, one woman, period, for life. And once he takes on two of them. So, mm -hmm. okay. Now, for us guys that are married, really? <laughs> I mean, taking on multiple lives. I mean, this happens all throughout the Bible, and it continues. Even some of the greatest patriarchs did the same thing. And it ended up nothing but trouble. Nothing but trouble. I mean, that love is supposed to be between one man and one woman. And he started a chain reaction. You know, and it's sad continues to this day polygamy no 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 folks no 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 it's not right and it's not condoned ever 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 you take one partner and you take one for life this guy didn't see it that way all right so we know he did that totally went against god decided he was going to have multiple wives he probably had more i mean we don't know for sure how many this guy actually decided to have throughout his life this is what the Bible just said. Remember, Moses, facts, took two wives because that is part of the storyline that he is creating on Lamech. You know, my guess, my thought is that this guy just kept going. I mean, he's evil. He probably saw somebody he liked and married him, had this harem going. I mean, who knows? I mean, it's it's... You know, we won't know for sure again. One of these questions, we won't know for sure till we get there, till we get to heaven, we can find out for sure. <sighs> but I digress. Here we go. Now, what was the second thing that he did that stands him out, that points him in the Bible, points him out in the Bible as this evil, arrogant dude? Well, he decided that because some guy either, the Bible says that, for some dude that struck him somehow, whether it was, you know, accidentally brushed him, you know, accidentally hit him or, you know, something that wasn't bad. Okay, we do know it was something that wasn't terrible. Lamech decided, uh, no, no, and kills him. Yeah, that's right. Kills him for no real good reason at all. I mean... No justification. Whatever this dude did, definitely did not deserve to do that. And Lamech just flat out kills him. Then he goes to, he's probably sitting on his throne. 
Okay, let's develop this thing. He's sitting on his throne. Uh, shortly after this happened, he brings in his two wives. And he says, you know, I just killed a guy. Yeah, I killed a guy. He made me mad. And I killed him. So if Cain's revenge for somebody killing him was sevenfold, Mine's going to be 77-fold if anybody touches me. Are you serious? Talk about arrogance. Talk about telling God that, you know, take advantage of anything God offers as far as protection goes. I mean, that's why God put that on Cain. And he put the mark on Cain. So that way nobody would. It was mercy. It was grace. But Lamech decided that he was going to take his own revenge out. He was to anybody that dared even try to touch him to put fear into people. Talk about an evil, evil ruling man. And that's what he was. And I'm sure everybody was afraid of him. I mean, he was vicious, viciously cruel. And that's just, that's, that was this guy. You know, there's not much after that. But just by what we even see in the Bible in this part is that, that revenge part. And it's pretty sad. It's pretty sad. What Cain started was a whole generation of people of his clan that was evil. That didn't have anything to do with God. They want to do what they wanted to do. Hmm. Now, we have to ask ourselves. I mean, honestly, ask ourselves. Is that what we do today? Do we diss about God? Do what we want to do? Yeah, folks, I think we do. Well, that comes to what we conclude on Lamech's story here and what we can learn from that. What can we learn from this? I mean... Okay, so we got the story of what he did. So, you know, how's it, you know, I'll try to be good. What's this, what's, what's this got to do with me? I mean, not only is this our history, and it's going to unfold later between Israel and them, uh, but this is a good reminder of how good things can be with God and how bad things can be with other people and how bad you can be without God. Okay, without Jesus in your heart, folks, you are evil. I mean, completely evil. No matter how good you try to think you are, you are not. You are not saved. Okay. And God, grace abounds even to the people that aren't saved. I mean, he still loves the unsaved. Okay. He loved Cain. He protected Cain. He, I'm sure he loved all. He loved all of Cain's can and descendants, and he wanted them to come back. But they wouldn't. They absolutely refused. And later, in our next chapter, we're going to find out the consequences for all of this. Because it just continues. Even through the, the other descendants of Adam. This sinful lifestyle continues. So... That's the way it is. So, how does this apply to us? Guys, keep God here, man. Keep God in your heart. Okay? Keep God in your head. Keep learning. Keep talking to him. He's your father. He loves you. And his grace abounds, folks. So, either you're going to have two roads in the... So, if, if you want to know, here's the plain gist of this. You're going to have two roads, folks. You're going to have God's roads... You're going to have Cain, Lamax wrote, the evil, satanic way of Satan, or Jesus' way. Now, I'm telling you, Jesus' way is the good way because you're going to have something in here that this world can't touch. You're going to have something in here, inside of you, that's just a peace and a bound, that's freedom. That is total freedom. And no matter what they do to you, no matter what they say about you, it's not going to affect you. Because 
You have his love. Doesn't matter. That's right, folks. That's the moral of this one, of Lamech's little story here in, our, in the Bible. Keep God and keep that peace, folks, because that's what it is, man. That's what it is. 100% pure peace, pure love. And that's what we have. And that freedom is something that can never, ever be taken away. And if you need a little reminder to that, remember Braveheart's little, little mantra there. They can take away our lives. They can take away our property. But they can never take away our freedom. And that's with God. Folks, that is right. So, now our next one, we're going to learn what happened. We're going to flip back to Adam. Because they've had another kid. And this will be the line that will continue on. So, my next video, we're going to focus on Seth, which is Adam and Eve's son. So, I hope you got something out of this. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I will see you next time. I am the bald guy. I am out of here. So, glad you have joined me. Peace, love, be with you. I am gone, folks. Adios. I'm still recording anything. Hey guys, video's over. You can leave now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Video's gone. Old guy says bye bye. Bye bye. I'm shutting you off. Go do your thing. Worship God. Have fun. Enjoy the day. Bye. Get out of here.